Biden, Trump calling Harris a monster is despicable. Biden takes aim at Trump over alleged plot to kidnap Michigan governor. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden blasted President Trump for labeling his running mate a monster, telling reporters the president's comments were despicable. The president, in an interview Thursday morning with Fox Business News Maria Bartiromo, slammed Democratic vice presidential nominee Sen. Kamala Harris hours after she faced off in her one and only debate with Vice President Mike Pence in Salt Lake City, Utah. This monster that was on stage with Mike Pence, who destroyed her last night, by the way. This monster, she says, no, no, there won't be fracking, there won't be this. Everything she said is a lie, Trump charged during an appearance on Mornings with Maria. Harris, teaming up with Biden Thursday afternoon to campaign in the battleground state of Arizona, passed when asked by reporters to respond to the president's attack. I don't comment on his childish remarks, Harris said. But Biden took aim at Trump, emphasizing it's despicable. It's despicable. It's so beneath the office of the presidency. And the American people are sick and tired of it. They know who this man is, it's got to stop. Looking to Harris, Biden said this is one of the finest persons I've ever dealt with. This is a person who is ready, on day one, to be president of the United States of America. This person has more integrity in her little finger than most people have in their whole body. And Biden stressed that Trump has great difficulty dealing with strong women, great difficulty. The former vice president also added that Trump was delusional for saying that Pence won Wednesday night's debate. Biden also spoke out for the first time since federal and state officials announced that 13 people linked to militias were charged Thursday in an alleged domestic terrorism plot to kidnap Democratic Gov. Gretchen Whitmer of Michigan. Biden, who considered Whitmer as a potential candidate to serve as his running mate, joined the Michigan governor in laying some of the blame for the plot against her on Trump. This is something to be concerned about, Biden emphasized. And he paraphrased recent comments from the head of the FBI that the greatest terrorist threat in America is from white supremacists. Biden asked why can't the president just say, stop, 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 and we will pursue you if you don't. So, stop. Asked by reporters if he thought that the president's Liberate Michigan tweet from April, when Trump appeared to send a signal of support to heavily armed demonstrators protesting Whitmer's measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus pandemic in Michigan, had encouraged militias, Biden said yes I do. The president was heavily criticized for not denouncing white supremacists at last week's first presidential debate. But White House Press Secretary Kylie McEnany, pushing back on the criticism, said that Trump has continually condemned white supremacists and all forms of hate.